Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on the performance of the agricultural sector with special emphasis on the crop production subsector. I am sure you've learned about components of Adley with your classroom teacher. Students, did you know that crop production is the major agricultural activity in terms of its contribution to GDP and export earnings? Smallholders play the greatest role in the production of crops. For this reason, the Growth and Transformation Plan GTP, identifies three strategic directions to make smallholder agriculture the main source of agricultural growth. The scaling up of best practices witnessed during the past few years. Expansion of irrigation development. Production of high-value crops. The crop production subsector involves the production of food crops, cash crops, fruits and vegetables, as well as floriculture. Since fruits and vegetables and cut flowers are often produced for the market, they can be grouped under the cash crop group. The production of food crops is the most dominant of all. About 97% of food crop production is done by smallholders. Students, cereals or grains are the most dominant food crops in terms of both area cultivated and output produced. Before we discuss the performance of crop production subsector, I want you to answer the following questions in three minutes. The questions are, what is the difference between production and productivity? What is the relationship between production and productivity?
Have you attempted the questions? Very good. Let's now discuss the difference between the concepts of production and In the context of agricultural output, production refers to the total sum of output produced given certain quantity and quality of resources such as land, labor, and capital, whereas productivity measures output per factor of production. For example, productivity of labor refers to output per worker. Productivity of land means output per piece of land. The relationship between productivity and production is such that given the resources, when productivity increases, production also increases. I hope you've clearly understood the two concepts, productivity and production, and the relationship between the two. Students, we are going to apply production and productivity in the following discussion on the performance of the crop production subsector. Let's start with food crops. The production of food crops include cereals such as teff, wheat, barley, maize, and sorghum, pulses, oil seeds, and root and tuber crops. As stated in the GTP in 2009-10, major food crops production amounted to close to 19,130,000 tons. Average food crops productivity amounted to 7 quintals per hectare. And land covered with major food crops amounted to 11,253,000 hectares. Now, let's continue our discussion on the second important group of crops, namely cash crops. Students, do you know what cash crops are? I want you to work in groups of three or four to list some of Ethiopia's cash crops and also explain their importance. You have three minutes. Thank you.
As the name implies, cash crops are crops produced mainly for the market, that is, to generate income for households or to bring foreign currency for our country. Some of the major cash crops of Ethiopia include stimulant crops such as coffee, tea, and the like, cut flowers, oil seeds, pulses, industrial crops such as sugarcane and cotton, and spice crops such as pepper, ginger, and the like. Cash crops contribute a great deal to export earnings. As stated in the GTP, in 2009-10, 528 million US dollars was earned from the export of coffee. Oil seeds earned the country 358 million US dollars. Pulses earned approximately 130 million US dollars. Cut flowers earned 170 million US dollars and approximately 19 million US dollars was earned from the export of spices. Students, fruits and vegetables are also important groups of crops under the crop production subsector. Fruits and vegetables contribute not only to domestic consumption but also they contribute to foreign earnings. The major and most common types of vegetables and fruits produced in Ethiopia include the following tomatoes, onions, Ethiopian cabbage, pepper, bananas, mangoes, oranges, papayas, avocados, lemons, and guavas. Relative to the country's potential, fruits and vegetables production has gradually increased in the past years. As stated in the GTP in 2009-10, production of fruit and vegetable crops amounted to close to 1,281,800 tons. Average productivity of fruit and vegetable crops amounted to 84 quintals per hectare and area cultivated with fruit and vegetable crops amounted to 152,600 hectares. We are now left with the fourth crop category under the crop production subsector, which is floriculture. Floriculture is the production of cut flowers. Recently, flower production has increased significantly in Ethiopia. Export of cut flowers has become an important source of foreign earnings. Students, did you know what contributed to the recent rapid growth of floriculture in Ethiopia? Did you also know to which countries Ethiopia's cut flowers are exported? I want you to discuss with the students sitting next to you. I'll give you three minutes. Thank you. 
Students, have you answered the questions? That's very good. Let me give you the answers so that you can compare with yours. The factors that have contributed to growth of floriculture in Ethiopia are growing interest of foreign and local investors, conducive government policy and support in the form of providing suitable land, finance, and other incentives. High demand for cut flowers in foreign markets. Ethiopia's cut flowers are exported to European markets, especially to the Netherlands. Flower exports ranked third next to oil seeds in terms of export earnings. As mentioned earlier, Ethiopia has earned 170 million US dollars from cut flowers exported in 2009-10. Floriculture is an intensive farming and requires relatively small area of land. Yet, it is labor intensive. For this reason, it is an important source of employment for many people. Students, before we end today's lesson, let me summarize the main points of the lesson. Watch carefully. In today's lesson, we discussed the performance of the agricultural sector, with special emphasis on the crop production subsector. The performance of the crop production subsector was discussed in terms of the four crop categories. These are food crops, cash crops, fruits and vegetables, and floriculture. Well, students, with this, we end today's lesson on the performance of the crop production subsector. In our next program, we will discuss the performance of the livestock and fishery production subsectors. Until then, goodbye, students. Goodbye, teacher.